Tonight shows a very scary scene. A car slams into a cyclist, sending him flying off the road. This happened a little over a month ago in Sevier County. While the cyclist recovers, his lawyer is talking about what happened and what comes next. WBIR 10 News reporter Gabrielle Hayes joins us with how she says new technology could enhance bicycle safety. Gabrielle. Beth attorney Amy Johnson says these kinds of incidents happen all the time all across the country, but here in Knoxville, she says there's plenty of work being done to keep bikers safe. All of a sudden he heard squealing wheels behind him and got slammed into. On September 1st, attorney Amy Johnson says her client was hit by a car while riding a bike in Sevier County. And he was savvy enough uh, to be outfitted with both the camera on the front and the back of his bicycle, so the whole thing was captured on film. With the incident on tape a little over a month later, that biker is now taking action. We did file a claim with the driver's insurance company, so we're handling the injuries that he sustained and the property damage. Johnson says Tennessee Highway Patrol also issued the driver a citation, and she's now working with the DA's office to move forward with legal action. And hoping that justice is served. But she says incidents like these set the stage for an important conversation about bike safety. Part of that is reiterating Tennessee's three-foot law. And the purpose behind that law is to give motorists advice and instruction on how to safely interact with and pass a cyclist. And the core of that law is pretty simple. Research shows that at a minimum, a safe passing distance would be three feet. Here in Knoxville, KPD officers are now studying and enforcing the law with new biking technology. This is the C3 feet device. This uses ultrasound technology to measure passing distance. And update Johnson says she's hoping will make a difference for clients like hers in years to come. A big goal of the KPD study and enforcement is to um, change driver behavior so that they're giving the three feet just to make things safer. As for the status of the cyclist, Johnson says they are still waiting to fully understand the extent of those injuries. She encourages both bikers and drivers to make room for each other when sharing the road. Beth. All right, Gabrielle, with a look at this new technology. Thank you. We are